I fucked up. I fucked up, and I accidentally, I was messing around with my real SNES, and I, uh, I saved over the previous save state on accident. Because I went to save state instead of load state, and picked the first option, which I knew was gonna fucking happen eventually. So, we're fucking... Doing this again, we're starting the game again. Last time, nothing didn't matter. Nothing, nothing happened. None of it happened. So that's fun. So we, we gotta do all this again now. But hey, whatever. The game is so good. But fuck me. That is, that's, that's gonna affect my mood for this whole playthrough. It, for, or for, well, for the whole stream. It's gonna affect my mood for the whole fucking stream. Uh, that, it makes me just immeasurably angry that this has occurred. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna fucking, like... I'm gonna, like, be an attitude boy now, because of this. Because I have to redo, like, fucking an hour of shit. Hello, condom model. This is SNES. This is, uh, Link to the Past. Uh, it's not the GBA version, it's the SNES version. And, uh, I had played it last stream, um, and I had made progress in it, uh, but I accidentally saved over the fucking save state that I had had. So, now we have to start the game from the start again. So, yeah, only only smart moves, only good shit on this stream. But, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm just throwing bushes. I don't know why. I need to... I, there, there will be better ways to make money. It was a good start. Help me, please. Yeah, so this game is really good, and it's a breath of fresh air after Zelda 2, even still. Because Zelda 2 was a fucking menace to society. Even with Rewind, it was like the worst fucking shit possible. Looks good. It's a very good game. I've never finished it, but I've played... I I've started it a couple times, and it is a good game. But I'm just shit at finishing games, generally. But yeah, this is some people's favorite game of all time. I wouldn't necessarily agree because Bloodborne exists. And also because I think if, if it's Zelda games, I probably like Majora's Mask better. But uh, it's still a very good game. Still, still plays really well even today. But yeah, it was like, anything could be better than Zelda 1 and 2, and pretty much every game from here on out will be enjoyable and not frustrating. Like, if you if you didn't know, I don't, I don't remember if you'd been here for, for previous entries in the series, uh, I'm doing a marathon of Zelda games, every Zelda game in chronological order. Like the like I did with the Souls games, um, so I that's why I even played Zelda one and two, even though I it, it wasn't fun and I wasn't having a good time. Well, I was having a good time because it was a stream, but I like those games were infuriating.
NES version is my favorite, but it's because I grew up with it. I watched the NES one, but haven't seen you on since. Okay, okay, yeah. You know, you know what's up. Yeah, I, I cannot do the NES ones. They are hard. I don't have the patience. This, well, I, mi I might have had the patience where playing on my own, but not for stream. For, for stream, I don't want to waste people's fucking time, like, dying to the same 20 whiz robes in a room. I'm almost 40. Man. I suppose pe most of, like, the people I watch on YouTube are also almost 40. <laughs> That kind of makes sense. SNES games. The SNES had some fucking amazing games in general. Like, uh. I, I guess. Super Metroid is the one that everyone loves. I haven't ever played it. I'm, I'm just not super interested in Metroid uh, at all. But you got Link to the Past, you got Earthbound, you got fucking. You got Mega Man X. Uh, JRPGs out the ass. Fucking Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 3, 4, 5. Well, no, Final Fantasy 4, 5, 6, but Final Fantasy 3, the fucking, Final Fantasy 6 was called Final Fantasy 3 in the US, but yeah, the, I mean, Final Fantasy 6 is like a fucking amazing game. Let's see, what else is there? This NES library is big and quality. Check it out, I'm gonna fuck them up. I'm gonna fuck them up from, from, from way downtown. Damn it. I'm gonna do it this time. Fuck. Anyway, SNES was fucking a great console. It had a lot of shit on it. And then the N64 came along and it had like... Three games that I give a shit about personally. And then like five games total that people give a shit about. Uh, at all? It's like fucking... It's, for me it's Mario 64. It's like, uh, and the, the Zelda games. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Uh... But then, then, I mean, the, the the Kirby game, the Kirby game on NES was pretty good, I, I think. Or I mean, the nice. The the Kirby game on N64 was also pretty good. I've never played it. Crystal Crystal Shards, I know, is well regarded. And then like Mischief Makers, and fucking, I don't even know what else. I've never played Mischief Makers. Oh, this takes me here. Okay. The GameCube was a pretty great system too, despite not selling well. A lot of good games there. You can jump off ledges. I. It's very smart that they let you keep your sword charged as you jump off ledges. It's so good. The sprite work for this game is so clean. Like, the- look at the fucking way the- Walls descend into darkness. That looks fucking awesome. Everything is very, very legible and understandable. Oh, this is this is the shortcut bag. Okay.
That, that, that's a way you can bypass these guys if you are not good at the game and you don't want to fight them. But I am. Okay, I'm not. But, the combat is fun to do until you get sick of it. At which point I'll stop. That's why, how Pokemon always was for me. Was like... Man, I love doing these Pokemon battles. I'm having so much fun, and I'm so sick of it by the end. Like, never want to do a fucking Pokemon battle again. Which sucks, because that's like the crux, the entire crux of the game. And it gets... It, it gets to a point where you're just spamming A, because you just... You have one fucking move that destroys everything. And it, your starter is like level two fucking million. And you just barrel through everything. The Pokemon has an issue, or I don't know if it's fixed, because I haven't played a Pokemon game since X and Y, which were uh, not great. And then, well, okay, so so also, Pokemon has been on a fucking downward spiral since then, but that's a whole subject. But, uh... Anyway... Pokemon has an issue, the games, where... You can use your starter as your only Pokemon throughout the entire game, and then you fucking just shred everything. Uh, and you you don't have to use any other Pokemon besides the ones you use like as meat shields to res your primary Pokemon and then you get the XP share and then it's all over because your whole party is gaining XP But they are made for 10 year olds to play them and understand them. So I guess I don't know what I would expect. Like, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, uh, like, a 10 year old can grasp Pokemon, but I don't know if a 10 year old would be able to grasp, like, Final Fantasy VII, that combat system, uh, as a JRPG. So uh, it does what it sets out to do, but it still is kind of lame. Also, Pokemon designs, I like... The, the Pokemon art style has gotten to a place that I'm not really huge on. Um, like, I just... It started with... I think it started with Alola. The, the big art style shift. Um, but it, you could see it as early as X and Y. I mean, not X and Y, black and white. FF7 was my favorite game as a teen. You know, I have played... I have not beaten a Final Fantasy game. Despite starting many of them. Which I hope to rectify through streaming, like that'll give me a, a good fucking excuse to finish a Final Fantasy game. Or just any JRPG, really, because I always fall off of them. But I have played plenty of Final Fantasy VI, and I've played plenty of Final Fantasy IX, and I own Final Fantasy VII on my Switch, but I've never even opened it. Because <laughs> it's so, like, its legacy is so daunting that I, I'm like, I'm, I'm intimidated by this game. It's such a significant game for so many people. I know it's really not that big a deal, and that I should play it because it's really good, but I don't know. I don't know what's stopping me. Well, I know what's stopping me right now, and that's because it's a big time commitment, <laughs> as any JRPG is. Which, there are so many, like, JRPGs that look so fucking fun, and like, really neat, but I am loathe to start them, because they look so long. 
and that it's gonna be like 80 hours to get through the main story if you're Russian and, and not like me who likes to take my time through all the like side content shit like those are not games that gel with my style of play being as long as they are There are like a million different JRPG series and they all look super good. Like fucking Disgaea. Disgaea would be a tough one for me. It would be bad. Because literally every single item in Disgaea has a dungeon in it. So it's it's like your fucking regular 80, 90 hour JRPG plus every single piece of equipment has an entire dungeon to do. And that is so ridiculously daunting that I wouldn't even dare start it. I also do just tend to play a lot of a of an RPG game and do do the like thorough thing. And then at a point I go, you know what, I've had my fill and I never finish. And that's why I don't finish, because I'm like, you know what, I'm kind I'm good. Like I I've played enough of this game. And I stop being interested in playing it again. Or, or, like, experiencing the rest of the story. Also, partially because it's usually... If I'm playing an RPG, I'm playing it on a trip. And once the trip ends, I, like, am not... It, it, I, I just, like, tie the memories of that game with the, my memories of the trip, and I'm like, I, I kind of, like, just want to leave it. Like, I, I played... One or two years ago, I started Final Fantasy IX, and I played through, like, I want to say half of it over the course of, uh, fucking a trip we took to get to a, uh, not to get to it, uh, a, a trip we took for a dog show, because I show, uh, or I used to show my dog in, like, competition. Um, and so once that trip ended, I, like, put my switch away and I never thought about that game again <laughs> and every once in a while I look at it and I go man I really will want to come continue that game but I don't know what is happening uh, in that file and I don't want to start it again what kind of dog so my dog and he is still he is still alive and he's still he is in his middle age now but uh, I have a border collie corgi mix um, and he's my best buddy ever. I have had him since I was 10 years old. Um, and I have, I've trained him and fucking won competitions with him. And we are the best of buddies. But he doesn't live with me now since I moved out. Just because I, uh, I live in a very small place and he's used to being out on like a farm and having that whole space to run around in and so I had him for like six months and he was just cramped and unhappy so he's living with my parents still which sucks but it's it's the best for him but yeah he's my best buddy So it is... This one has snakes. That one drops snakes into the room. This one is just opens the door. It's the classic snakes or door gambit. This is a cool song. First two like phrases of that song are so weird and ethereal. I love it. But I have to go all the way around with this man to open the chest. 
Oh yeah, you know what's really nice is fucking getting a heart container now refills your health. I like that. So we need to go down to Kakariko, which is south. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, he's in the bushes. Kakariko Village is uh, southwest of us. I'm I'm pretty familiar with this map, having played this game a few times. Well, started it. Um, I did also be link between worlds, which has a. It's set. It's like a sequel. Uh, released like way too many years later, like 15 years later, and it has a similar but not completely the same map. What? Bomb? Bombs? I really wish I had the Pegasus boots. I wish that you just had them from the start of the game. I know you needed to complete certain puzzles, but like... It's so slow. It's, it, it's a... If you need to just get across the map, like, the Pegasus boots are real nice to have. Oops. Didn't want to burn your face. Sorry, that was a, a wrong wrong button. I get it. I get the legend. I don't need to be told again. I I am most excited for Majora's Mask. I've said this again, but I'm also super excited for the Oracle games. I've said this on another stream at some point, but like... One of the first video games I ever played, if not the actual first, was my my uncle had a Game Boy. He was like fucking like 14 or 15 when I was like a little, little kid. But he had a Game Boy Advance. No, he, he had a Game Boy Color. Um... And he, uh, that was one of the games he had. Did I really fuck myself? Oh no, I can get this one. Anyway. Yeah, he had a, a Game Boy Color. Uh, and that was, it was one of the Oracle games. It was on there. And he had a guidebook for it, which I actually, I think I stole. I think I stole it. Um... But I still have the guidebook. <laughs> I do <laughs> I do still have it. Um what the fuck am I Oh yeah, I need to do this. Am I... I'm not thinking, I'm just talking. Running my fucking mouth. Yeah, coins. Oh wait, shit, I could have got the other one. Yeah, I could have just I could have just got the other one. Oh wait. Even easier. Need a bomb for that room. Yeah, there there are like three different places to bomb I found already. Last stream I had completely forgotten that this game is where the song came from. I thought it was uh, Ocarina of Time. But yeah, this, this fucking song is so good. Give me the bottle. <laughs> I love that, like, context. I've said, I've said this before, but I love that context for why he holds shit above his head. And it's because that shopkeeper told him to. Oh. 
The underground music is really good, even if it's not always... Like, the underground areas are not always as dreadful as the music would, uh, would imply, but that's fine. I like in later entries where Link would do a flip off the... Maybe it was just Minish Cap, but Link would do a fucking flip off of the... Uh, when he jumped off ledges. Like, damn, son. Fucking show off. So if you talk to her, she calls the guards. Oh. I didn't even- you don't even have to press the button, it turns out. Just if you touch her, she calls guards. You can catch these bees and use them on foes, and then you can get a golden bee later. That's like infinite bee. Or something like that. They really found a good way to make, like, doing this stupid mundane task fun enough that I just do it on my own automatically. Oh, Nierk. Oh yeah, if you slap around a cuckoo, these are not called chickens, they're called cuckoos. If you slap one around too much, fucking, you get a really bad day. Maybe you have to be outside. Yeah, you probably have to be outside for that. I'm gonna do it, though. That, that's a Zelda classic, like, you gotta... Fuck over here. Let me pick this bastard up. Or oh, this works too. Does it not happen in this? Surely not. That, that's a staple. I think it happens in the GBA version. Maybe they added that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what happens. Oh, and it slows down the whole SNES. Oh, it doesn't keep going, though. I thought it kept going until you uh, entered a building. I love that they were willing to slow down the entire fucking NES for, er, SNES for a joke. <laughs> it's funny to me. Oh yeah, you can go in the back of this tavern for some shit. Yeah, your son is fucking dead, dude. Like, actually, you, you beat him and he fucking dies. Give me my fucking second bottle. Easy second bottle. Dick. You have to really try to fucking anger a cuckoo, huh? I never realized just how, like, much effort you had to put in to make one of them actually mad and do the thing. You can catch those with the net, too, and put them in a bottle, and then they, like, fairies usually do in Zelda, they heal you. They, or they, they heal you, they revive you when you die. Yes, the Zoro Lake. It's by the, there's a secret behind a waterfall in that region, but I don't remember which waterfall. But it's like classic Zelda secret. It's gotta be a waterfall. It looks like they have little skulls as their their doorstep. Oh, Mario! 
He's on the fucking painting right here. Hello, child. Oh, he's he's from the evil air. Oh, oh shit, net already? That's how you get it? Sick. Fuck yes, dude. I didn't even know. I didn't even. I would have just fucking missed that. You gotta talk to everyone. It is imperative that you talk to everyone. Always. Give me a fairy. I will cut all the bushes here. I think over here they gave me like bombs or something last time. I can, uh, it's fun playing this because I can feel my, my Zelda kid energy coming back. Like, I'm, I'm becoming the Zelda kid again. I'm gonna start wearing cargo shirts and a, a shirt with a Triforce on it. I, I have a friend who was like the Mario kid of their, their grade or whatever. Uh, of all their peers. I, I was the Zelda kid. That's how you save, usually, and I don't know why that I can't do that. Oh, I think I need to walk back to my house to activate that. I think that's what it is. But, uh, oh yeah, here there's a bombable wall. It's got good shit. The fact that they let you throw the pot while moving feels like it was legendary. Like, you would have had to be at a complete stop in uh, the previous era. If not even just other games on the system that had similar mechanics. Can you just hold 999 rupees right from the get-go, or is it only 300? Because in some Zelda games, you have a limit on the size of your wallet until you upgrade it. And then every rupee you get after that, you're wasting. Wanted. This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. Yeah, I'm a fucking outlaw, baby. Alright, let's go to my house. Because I need to save. Not much here. Mario again. Mario is the god of these lands. Later on you get a hammer and then that opens up like a hole of some variety. This is the way to my house. In the, uh... I think these are blacksmiths. I think in, in Link Between Worlds, yeah, they're also blacksmiths. Yeah, so these guys upgrade your sword. Uh, when you get the, like, shit for it. That is the exit to the secret that is adjacent to it. Which I need the hammer to get to. And then for those mushrooms, you have to get the, like, power bracelet, I think it's called. Oh, that is a, a fucking landmine. Yeah.
The SNES should have more sound channels so they don't have to cut out the music while you're playing the, the game. I wish the I I wish the GBA sound chip was better because there's so many like good fucking songs with good music on the GBA and then you it, it, and then you listen to it in high quality and it sounds bad because the GBA sound chip was awful even though people did good things with it you need the Pegasus boots to get this that was a secret that fucking confounded me Uh, when I had played this game before. Is this the one that leads to a mini game where you can get a piece of heart? I think it is. Yeah, there's a bombable wall. Yeah, near canal and crawling with my younger brother. I sealed the door to his room. Very mature of you. I will bomb the door to his room. Hey, Nirk, did you come from my older brother's room? Is he angry? You can reach the goal within 15 seconds. We'll give you something good. I don't think I'm gonna make it. If you have enough time to read this sign, you should go to the goal immediately. Send him to the principal's office immediately! But so what's the route? I, I, I will go back around again. Oh, you can't go past that tree. That was what I didn't realize. That's the faster way to do that. Yeah. Give me this. 36 seconds. Really? Jesus, 15 fucking seconds in this context is like an eternity? Holy shit. So they make you come back all the way around because they need you to like leave the screen so they can reset everything. That's cute. I, didn't, I hadn't thought about that before, but that's absolutely the reason you have to go all the way back around. Fuck. Already time waste. Already time waste. Run, run over, run dead. I think they expanded upon this minigame. Mm. 17 seconds, fuck. I think they had a similar minigame in Link Between Worlds that was like expanded upon. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Link Between Worlds started as a straight remake of Link to the Past, and then they were like, let's uh, change it up a little. Which I'm glad they did, because that game fucking rocks. Looked really good for the, the 3DS as well. Here's the fucking strat. Sixteen? No fucking shit. Alright, I think slashing them is actually faster. Like, manually doing each slash. That's a tighter time limit than I realized. Of course, if I was able to pick up the rocks, it would be a different story, but... Notice that I'm not doing any of the actual content of the video game. Fuck. Time loss. It might be game. 14 seconds. Fuck yeah. Imagine jumping off and having to do that again. Just because it's close to the edge and you can like accidentally do that.
escape. Oh shit, I made money off of that. Can you get a... Here's what I'm interested in, is can you get a piece of heart from this? Let's play money making game. I'm kind of suffering from success because I, I want the heart piece. All right, that was a net gain. Or uh, the, well, no, that was a a net neutral amount of rupees. The only thing spent was time. God damn it, dude. Am I fucking just too good? Is this the way to make money in this game? <laughs> dude, it's impossible to lose. You can't. Maybe I should ch try a different chest. But I'm on a winning streak, baby. Ah, uh, one Rupert. That must be it. That must be... There, you can get one Rupert, you can get 20, you can get 50. I don't know if there is a heart piece. Maybe there's like a chance for one. I have a vague recollection. But where is my... Let me open... Okay, there we go. Link to the past chest game. Where's your chest game? Um. Oh, there are other ones. There are other people who do the game, and one of them has a heart piece. That's what it is. That's what it is. What the? F Was the game fucking pause? Don't tell me this is a crash. Don't tell me this is a crash, right? Like, surely, surely not. Um, that's not promising. That's really not, not at all. I have to start this game again. What happened? What is, why is it not? Fuck, dude. Oh my god, it is like hard frozen onto my screen. I can't click off of this. My god, this is not good. This is not good. Dude, no. Dude, no. No, that's 45 minutes. Come on, dude. Come the fuck. No. And you're sure I, I can't fucking salvage this? I can't even, I can't see task manager. Gonna hit the sack, man. It was, I, I was in a tree all fucking day. Catch you later. All right. Uh, yeah, have a, uh, thanks for coming. It was, uh, it was good seeing you. Like, control them. Uh, alt, control, alt, left. Arborist. Well, I see. I, I was wondering. Because, like, usually I'm used to, I'm used to that being, like, hunters. But I don't think that anything is in season right now. But that makes a lot more sense. Control, shift, alt, shift. Roll alt shift. Is it like fucking dude? What the fuck? There's no fucking way this crashed so hard. I tabbed out. That's all that happened. Is I I, I tabbed the fuck out. Oh wait, it might still be going. It might still be going. We might still be good. I just I had the F11. Just um. Oh, uh, it is paused. Oh, fuck, dude. 
That's such a fucking relief. My god, that was... I panicked. I fucking panicked. I was like, I don't want to do this again. Please don't make me do this again. Holy shit. How fortunate that it was just my misunderstanding of the emulator. Real NES, SNES, actually. I don't know why I keep referring to it as an NES, like, when I know full well it's not. What the fuck? I think it was just my brain got ruined by, uh... My, my brain just got ruined by Zelda 2 in 1. Yeah, this is where the kid is. Th that's the guy's son he was talking about. he faces out of existence and then you see him as like an animal in the other world also you can dig her I think it's around here if when you have the shovel and you get a thing maybe that's just in the other versions but I think it's in all it's in this one too I, I get there there are very minor changes made to the GBA one that make me question everything I know about this one because the GBA one was the one I played last and it's probably the one I played most So all, all the little changes were fucking with me, and I, I think I probably underestimate how much was changed. Or I mean, I overestimate how much was changed, I think. Cool arrows. Can't wait to use those with my bow. I need to get and read all of the Zelda manga. I have read the Oracle Games ones, but not the rest of them. But I do want to read the rest of them because they're nice. They're just pleasant. Here we are, my house. Can I get in bed? Can I not save? How the fuck do you save in this game? Do you have to talk to Sahasrala? Like, do you have to get all the way to the palace for this game to let you save? What the fuck? Surely not. Or surely you, you be jesting. Also, I believe I have a map. Do I not have a map? This game. Ah, that is whoa. Uh, okay. I know. I think I know what the issue is here. Actually, I think that I set some settings that I shouldn't have set. Uh, I like super ultra moded the fucking the the fucking mode seven. So it's having problems. Okay, why is that so blurry, though? That, that could be better. The, the mode... The mode 7 is shit right now. Uh, what about this? What about like that? Ooh, that's crisp! Oh, you know what it was? You know what? I can set it even higher. You know what it was doing? Is I set it... To, like... 14, no, I, I set it to 1792p, and then I set it to super sample eight times that. So it was at like fucking eight, it was trying to render at like 8k or more. This mode seven. Oh no, it's slowing down a little. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll just turn off the super sampling. I don't even know why that was on. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. So I'm basically just trying to find a way to get back up to the chapel here because, uh... Oh, also, I can get... Also, notice that it's in widescreen, the, uh, the Mode 7, which is fucking crazy. But yeah, there are, there's shit to bomb in that chapel, which sounds really bad. Sounds like, uh, the Nazis in World War II bombing fucking... Uh... 
they're bombing Britain, but it's not. It's not. I mean, there, there are things. They, they're technically they're under the chapel. They're, they're, they're not, not in it. Can you fuck right off, please? Like. You're, you're a twat. The shit, the first enemy that was not a, like, guard. Oh, I can't swim. I was about to jump off of there. But I, I cannot swim yet. Oh, you, you're a twat. The GBA game let you cut signs, which is unnecessary, but fucking awesome, kinda. Great fairy fountain where you could pay money, like, ever suck your dick. Oh, this might be... At one of these, you can use the Pegasus boots and run into one of these. And I think that's what gets you the golden bee. That's a, it's a really dumb secret now that I think about it, but... It's not like it's... It's not required, <laughs> like in Zelda 2, so it's fine. But yeah, I think that's what that was. One of these, you can push these, and most of them are just fucked up bones, and you shouldn't push them, but one of them, at least one, leads you down a hole, and from there, many secrets. Push, push the fucking, there we go. He is absolutely stuck in that shit. I won't interfere. So getting to this ledge always fucking confused me, and I never knew how to do it, but I'm pretty sure it's just a way down from Death Mountain that's shorter. Can you lift these up? I swear you can lift these up from the get-go. You really can't! What the fuck? The, the, the bracelet must be one of the first items you get in, in that case, because, like, I know for a goddamn fact you get that real early. Wow, so there really aren't any secrets if you don't have the item. Alright. Well, get me in here, I have things to bomb. Oh, can you not? Do you have to, like, get them while you're in there? What the fuck? Oh, wait, can you... Uh huh. So maybe I could get back in the castle and then go all the way around? Is that the way to go? No, because that door probably won't be open, right? I don't even know. Jump off right here. There's an arrow in the grass telling you to do so. Always trust arrows you see in the grass. Oh, what the fuck? Stop it. I think that's max arrows for me right now.
Choo Choo's. That's what they're fucking called. The slimes. These guys. I fucking knew there was one on the next screen, and I was thinking of them. I was thinking of them the whole time I was playing Zelda 1 and 2. They're, they're called Choo Choo's. The name is Maple? Maybe. Oh yeah, that's a free heal. Whenever you want. Those are good. I probably have enough money for one of them. That would be good to have. You know what? We're getting it. I have multiple, uh... Multiple jars. The medicine of life! The drum solo of life! God, fucking Neil Peart's delivery of that line in the Aqua Team movie is still funny to me for some reason. He's just so frank about it, about something like the legendary. Or, or with such power, rather. I also just like Rush. I'm out of here. I don't like I don't like dealing with the arrow guys. They're fucking they're not fun. Oh, if I want to make progress, I have to go. I I could explore a lot, but we'll get the chance to explore a lot. Cause you're you're basically forced to go to every corner, high rule, to like do all the things. Uh, and to, to beat the game, so I, I shouldn't I shouldn't be exploring too much at this stage or there won't be much to do later when I actually need to come across it and it won't like take me out of my way to do so. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta just go. I, I, I should make progress. I really should make progress in the video game. So I, I, it's not the Great Fairy because the Great Fairy has her own like walled off pool and then you go up to it and you, you do that. Yeah, you give me the money. Yeah, so it's Sahasrala in the first palace or around here and I believe down in the bottom here is the secret. It, it's. I think I can't get it yet. It's a piece of heart or something. There's something about this game that just makes you fucking remember it. You just. You click into it and then you're like, oh, I know where everything is now. Like, if you asked me where all this shit is, even if you showed me the screenshots, I don't think I could tell you. That's unfortunate that I just got that uh that potion whatever I also got a fairy for whenever I need it these guys come alive I think there's uh, they're, they're an enemy from Zelda 1 oh yeah they are they're the, the statues that come alive This has to be bombable, right? Like, surely? Fuck you. You know what? I should actually do something that's useful for combat. <laughs> and, uh, like... I, I like to switch to an item that I won't accidentally use. But to have one that's actually useful, uh, would probably be better than the, the fucking net. Which I think you can actually use in a couple of, like, surprising contexts, but nothing beyond the easter eggs that isn't catching stuff. God, this- they- they- they definitely realize the fucking problem with Link's sword from, uh, Zelda 1 in that 
it goes, it thrusts out in one direction, and it's fucking terrible. Here, your sword has this fucking huge hitbox that extends way out in front, off to the front and side diagonal, and then off to the other front and side even more so. And it's so fucking good. And, and then just out, like, all the way to your left, too, as well. Like, it, it's exactly what Link's sword needed to be, and not this pitiful little fucking near useless thing that isn't even feasible in late game. I should have gotten hit by that. That was stupid on my part. No matter. No consequence. Please teach me how to... Oh shit, I have a bomb for that. So, Hasrala, please uh, teach me how to doggy, but also how to save the game. I'd love to know how to save the game. That that would be sorely, that's been sorely needed. Oh shit, bombs replenished. Rupees replenished. Rupees replenished. Alright, what's your deal? Ahasrala. Oh really, Dirk? Yeah! Or, of course! Sick. Does the artifact fucking teach me how to save the game? Oh, it's not Artifact, it's just Artifact. I like the word Artifact because people might not know it, and it makes me seem smarter than them, and I like feeling superior to people because I'm a dick. Alright. Uh, Link to the Past, How to Save. I need to know this. I'm like really concerned about not knowing this. Oh. Yeah, so it's like save and quit. I see. I get it. I, I thought that the bird statue had something to do with it, and that is because in Link Between Worlds, it has something to do with it. Uh, that's where you save in Link Between Worlds. Yeah. Um... Can this not fucking pause every time I, like, tab out? That sucks. <laughs> Do you just press select and then save and quit? And start from sanctuary? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I have to go all the way back now. That's fine. It's good to have the knowledge. People on the fucking thing I were on was on word like it might ask you to continue. It might be a save and continue. After you after you press save and quit, there might be like a oh, do you want to continue or do you want to li leave the game? But I think that's the GBA version they're thinking of because that one does. That one's like, do you want to save and continue or save and quit? Here's the thing about this, uh, this marathon, is that by the end, I'm gonna have, like, nothing to say, because I will have shared every single Zelda fact and knowledge and experience that I have. And so it'll just be me playing Breath of the Wild in complete and utter silence. Being just utterly devoid of commentary in every way possible. Because I sure do have a lot of Zelda experiences, but only as many as, like, most of the games, and not all of them. And so I can only fill, like, 
I I'm gonna be coming up like five games short on experiences to share uh, and like and like knowledge of the games because I've never played them. How's that for a time skip, bitch? And that's the way to go. Wonder if there's not any secrets around. There probably isn't. Well, there probably is. But fucking, it's so tedious to get through. This, this area, because of the way it is. I would not be averse to looking around later. Or now. Like, should I, since I'm here? You know what? I think in this palace you get the fucking strength bracelet. Which will actually help me explore this area. So yeah, we're doing the palace first. I think. Man, I know this well enough. I've done this fucking three or four times, at least. These guys are scary, especially when they come alive and start attacking you. most obvious hidden secret that's so cute. Masterful. Every once in a while a big ball comes out. Yep. This. I, I think... When you enter the first palace in this game is when Zelda became what it is. You get hit with the first song and you get hit, you get or you you get hit with the music and you get hit with the puzzles and you get hit with the atmosphere. And you go, this is what Zelda is. This this is it. Funny men jump away. I think you use the boomerang to kill them, but you can also just get them in a corner and slash. Or get close to them. They're like a physics based enemy. Rather than a did you do the puzzle properly enemy, which is kind of unique. What? You could, there's actually shit here? I didn't even know. Guess it's worth it to just spam A, huh? I don't think you can kill this guy. Ah, uh, well, you must be able to. Since presumably that's what, like, opens the next thing? Maybe it's the boomerang? No. I th oh, they're just a button on one of these. That's my guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you just can't kill them. You got the map! Sick. Now I have a map of the whole dungeon. And it's quite small. Because it's the first one. I like the way they did a pseudo 3D effect with the, the layers of floors. It really adds a lot to the dungeons, especially later on where it gets fucking crazy. Oh, that just hurts them outright. It's 
you. Give me that. What the fuck off? Yeah, so that's kind of Link's bad side. You, you, you'd much rather get him on his right. Or his left, rather. God of dumb. Got like super fucking sleepy all of a sudden. Don't know why that happened, but I'm like yawning like a bitch right now. What the hell? Whoa, holy fuck. Why am I so sleepy? God, that's mental. I need to go. Should be able to from the next room down. What I'm what I'm hearing, unless there's a better way to do that, which I don't know that there is. No, because I can't get there. Gotta go left, maybe. Maybe ah, there's probably just something I didn't see. Oh yeah, there totally fucking was, and I'm a dumbass. Oh my god! Oh, you can throw pots at them too, and they don't react. And it kills them in one hit. Fuck. Bitch! These creepy wall things seem like they're a secret, but they never are. Oh shit, you can talk to you through the triangles. Near it is I, so I I can talk to you telepathically when you touch these tiles. There is a hint, you can use the treasure hidden in this palace to defeat armored foes. Okay. Can you get through these two blocks? No, because you can push this one, but not the other one. So it's a shortcut to get out of there, but you can't get in, which is cute. It's a cute little logic thing. But these ones come alive. Yeah. And they get fucked up by the bow. So you must get the bow from this donjon. That must be it right there as well. Come at me, fucking bitch. What I thought. Ah, so you need the big key. In some Zelda games, the chest isn't opened by the big key. Slash boss key. But in some, it is. Secret fairy dimension. This first palace is so cute. Doesn't really have many puzzles, but it gets you in the it gets you in the groove of like this is what palaces are in this game, which is exactly all it has to do. Oh shit! Oh, so you just the whole thing is you just get chased by these things, I guess, and you get through here. Whoa! Holy fuck! Watch out, dickhead! Watch where you're driving that thing. A key. Precisely the key I need. You go through that door. It's locked with the key. Oh, I thought this was jump downable, but no, that is like a 
This is a, a narrow corridor, rather, more than I realized. Huh. Why are the colors a little washed out? Kind of weird. I need to, uh... Come in, come the fuck... Get the fuck... Come here. I think the bow lets you break pots, which is why they're all, like, not letting you go and pick up that pot. Ah, that's the way to do it. Oh, shit, they just released. All right. Um, I don't know if that was a secret or what, but, yeah, now they are fully unleashed into the world. Oh, you maybe had to defeat all the enemies. That's my guess as to what it was. Once you defeated all the enemies in the room, then they all flew out. Oh, you can also poke them. That's the other way to deal with them. It's it's really fun how many ways you can deal with the, the, the skeletons. Kind of fucking dope. Whoa, it's Isaac. It's Isaac. What the... Is it brutal? I guess he was supposed to use the bow to deal with them. I need one of those fairies before I get to the boss. Can I have that? Thank you. Didn't mean to use both of them, but I don't think they're a, think they're a resource that replenishes, fortunately. I'm glad the days are past when it took so long to switch items in a video game. Those were not amazing times. Alright, come come here. I could. The fuck? The bow has a fucking wind up, so you gotta be careful about it. As opposed to the bows from other Zelda games, which are fairly instant. Or don't uh, interfere with movement. The one door is locked, the one door is open. And, uh, holy fuck. This is a neat room. God, you really just get rupees like nothing else in this game, huh? You just fucking throw them at you. You're willing to go into the death pit, I guess. Hope you got that key. I think it's pretty much impossible to miss, actually. In this dungeon, at least. Fuck. Don't worry, I have a fairy. You get revived with full health or, like, half health? Fairy. Well, at least... You get revived with at least four hearts, I guess. It might be a set number of hearts rather than a, a percentage of your health. Oh, was that just pick a dick and I picked the correct dick? Is this also pick a dick? Yeah, it is. Mm, okay. Oh, does not destroy pots. Them every time, huh? Mm. 
Little harmless tentacle monsters in games are so cute. Alright, get the fuck over here, the kid. Oh, fuck off. Getting fucked right off of that. Hey. There should be a heart. There we go. You need to use the bow for this? I would assume so. That's sensitive as Zelda is, but. You don't always. Might be later in the fight if you need it to. Wow, I'm really sucking shit. Okay, so I think that was the time to use the bow, maybe. Yeah, that was going to be it. That was silliness, and I should have used my potion. But there's a save and continue if you die. I guess that's the thing. Oops, I have to move the pot. Fuck. Don't lose two hearts on the dumbass tentacle enemies. Well, I can at least go and grab another fairy. I should almost just have two fairies. That would probably be better. How the fuck do I get anywhere? I forgot. Yeah, I think it's through here. Yeah, it is. I'm just taking shits for damage. Really, really smart of me. Oh, you just... Oh, you do have to redo the, the room. Okay, I thought you did it for a moment. Last little heart, please. Whatever, I guess. Here we go. I'm full up. I don't honestly use the bow and arrows in this game, or any Zelda game, as much as I should. Just because it's a limited resource, and so that means you never use it ever, not a once. Like, you are not allowed to use that. Because it is limited, and must be hoarded when you need it. But then when you actually need it, you never actually get it out, because it's still... It's still holy. Never use items in video games. Especially, well, never use limited items in video games. They will always run out instantly. And you will never be able to replenish them. Alright, pick a dick time. Oh, so if you make one mad, you make two of them mad automatically. And if you want to go get your arrows back from that other pot, well, good fucking luck. You, you gotta fight the third one, too. Ooh, a bomb. Those are in... What supply?
Oh, that was slick. Damn, that's a lot of whoopies. Oh, I need to not do that. I need to... Fuck. Alright, come here. Oh shitter. Come on. Alright. So it's like three arrows per. I'm missing. Nice. He caught it before it reached the ground. That is just the first of many MacGuffins that you will have to collect. Like three or four different categories of MacGuffins. I will explore this area. Oh, that's just a shortcut. I'd like to have a little more detailed map of Looks so good, especially for a 3DS game. God, that game is fucking up. That's just a shortcut to the fairy. I don't know if there's much down here. Let me jump, please. Thank you. That's just that. Okay. Oh, the bow might kill them in one hit, actually. That's my- that's the inkling I get. Yeah, it is. Okay. Kinda what I thought. So there's not much. There's a secret area. Less than I thought, for sure. I should not be wasting it. I say as I arrow on the fella. Whatever. It's all part of my pledge to use arrows, actually. Great. Four generations ago, an order of knights. Near, I believe you. You got the boots. Sick. East side of Lake Hylia. Get it. All right. They they give you that way earlier than I thought. I'm glad though. They realize like, oh yeah, you're gonna want to be fucking bopping around and not have to be slow. God, that's good design. Fuck yeah, dude. What do I- how do I use him? Ah, you hold B. In the, uh, in the GBA version, you hold, like, L. Yeah, dude, fucking- aw, oh, we can go so fast and just kill shit like that. What do you say, east side of Lake Hylia? Oh, those. 
I think I need to go the other way. And then you can cancel out of it, like, right away, like, like that. And it's a really fast dash, too. There's a, there's a fairy fountain? No, I went the wrong way. But this is a fairy fountain. Of, yeah, of a kind. Oh, I accidentally... Is a fairy better than... Well, a fairy is definitely better than a potion at this stage. But if I use my potion, I'd feel like I'm fucking wasting it. And I don't want to do that, so we're gonna come back later. Oh, boy. Oh, so that doesn't lead you there. That's just... Oh, fuck. You have to go all the way around. Alright, fine. charges up so quick too like even though it's a charged dash it like takes a little time that you can just you can pop it out pretty much anywhere fucking rocks what a what a good way to get across the map in this game and the fact that you like don't randomly get hit by stuff because you hit the stuff and then it, it, like frames oh my god this is why bow guys are anti fun like 10 bombs, but I do already have 5. That's not a wise choice. I get one of these, though. Fortune tellers are just hints towards what you're supposed to do next in the game. And are, uh, somewhat unhelpful. Fucking arrows, bitch! Jeez. God, that's fun. I need to actually explore this area properly, but it's too fun. This might be a fairy fountain. Yeah, it is. Oh shit, now I can start running into the sides of them. Because I know there's a secret that has to do with running into the sides of one of them. Just don't remember where it is. Wait, can't you just go, like, why do you need the hammer for that? Can't you, yeah, you can go around like, oh, but you can't get back there, I guess. I think that rock is like a fast travel, as I recall. So is this whirlpool, that's also a fast travel. More of them unlock as you unlock more items, which is kind of cool. Maybe that, maybe that rock, though, is just a, uh just a secret. Yeah, I think it's just a secret. The whirlpools are the biggest fast travels. I don't remember if you get like a straight up teleport eventually, but I wouldn't be surprised. I should be- wait, I was gonna say I should be lifting up all these rocks, but I actually cannot. I would love to be lifting up all these rocks, more like. This is a fun puzzle to do with the Dark World. Oh, 
Also, you have to like go back through if you want to get to the other area. Like this. Bombs? I believe this lets me get a heart piece. Yes, yes it does. Oh, and it was the fourth heart piece. Come here, fish. You can't put it out of its misery. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, shit. I don't have a bottle. Fuck. Whatever. I'll get the golden bee eventually, and then that won't be an issue. Fake bushes are a cute little thing that they did. Yeah, I, I like subversive enemies. Oh shit. Bombable. Oops. Wrong Bhutan. I don't have any arrows. I don't think boomerang damages these guys. No, I need arrows for this. I'm almost tempted to just farm them out so I don't forget the secret. Oh my god. Wish that guy sold arrows. Whoa, thank you, Zora. This electrifies me, this electrocutes me. You have to use the boomerang. I feel like they wanted the Choo Choo's to be mascots, like the, uh, like the Dragon Quest slimes, but they never really caught on. Oh, fuck. Speaking of Dragon Quest, that's another game that, like, I've never really given any attention to. I don't even know how those games play. I know they're kind of RPGs, but I think they have action elements, but like... Yeah, I really just have no idea. So yeah, another SNES game. Fucking Trials of whatever. God damn it, give me the fucking 20 groups. that I need them. But I'd like them. Man, this game is so fucking cool. This is Great Fairy Fountain, maybe something. Oh shit, Ice Rod. Oh, I think this is just so you can see it and be like, oh no, how do I get there? Maybe I could bomb the wall! But me being a chat gamer already do. Oh, you have to bomb the wall to even get to the place that hints you in at bombing the wall, so I don't know what the fuck. Oh shit, Golden Bee! Alright. Fuck! I, my health is full! That's fine. I'll use this. Oh 
Come here, you fucking... Keep it out of bottle. That's my golden bee. Good bee. Wait, is there a good bee and a golden bee? Is there a difference? Don't you dare pause emulation. It's gonna pause. It's... Alright, let's pause. Link to the past bees. Yeah, golden bee is different. Also known as the good bee. I understand. One area in Link to the Past. Like normal bee. Hot and used to defeat enemies. Every boss except that guy. Okay, I don't need that. Oh, every boss except that guy is immune to it. It. Oh, it'll remain by Link's side much longer, I see. I understand. Oh, you can catch and reuse it. And if it goes away, that you can go to this cave again and get another one. I understand. I get it. So really, I probably would rather have a... A fucking... Fairy in there, but you know what? Fuck it. It's novel. It's fun to have a good bee. Um, please stop pausing the game. Okay. Also, you know what I think I'm gonna do is just go out, get hit, drink the potion, go and grab a fucking fairy. Did that crab just take, like, a heart and a half of my health? What the fuck? Got a fairy. What do you do? Keep it in a bottle. I think you can just freeze enemies with that. Like, that's its primary use, but then also puzzles and stuff. Yeah, where the f- Fox or arrows? Can I have some arrows, please? Wow, those crabs take a ridiculous amount of health. That, like, an actual insane amount of health. Thank you, fairy. What the actual fuck? Those are some OP-ass crabs. I gotta go and get another fairy. Alright. Now to not get hit by crabs. Hold up. Okay, good. I was looking at the stream to see if I had dropped any frames, but now we're good. I don't know why I suddenly had the thought, but it was like, mm, maybe it happened and I haven't been checking it and that would be embarrassing. Usually I just turn it on and it works, and then if it doesn't work, I don't have any chat members to be like, hey, it doesn't work. Saw that coming. Dude, I need the fucking arrows. That's fine. There, there are guys with bows here. They're almost guaranteed to give me arrows. I don't know how many I'll need, but I'll get like 10. That's perfect, actually. Thank you very much. Maybe I can freeze them, and then not have to risk them moving? I don't know. Just a thought. Oh, that just kills them. It just kills them outright. Oh, that's sick.
Yeah, I'll take some rupees. I, most of those are gonna go to waste because I can only carry 999. Fuck, those are more rupees. I guess we can save them as if I'll ever remember to come back here, but like, shit. You get so many rupees in this game. What the fuck do you even spend them on? <laughs> Yeah, I have riches and nothing to spend them on. Getting around this area and Link Between Worlds was fun. Because there was a lot of, like, crazy wall shit to do. Crazy ass wall puzzles. Yeah, the sign guy. You can you can pick up his sign and then he follows you. And he gets mad at you for picking up his sign, I think. And then you can't go in the store because there's the man. Can you fuck right off? I think there's a thing to do with him. I don't remember what it is. Can you reform my magic power too? I like that. So I believe this goes to the desert. Yeah, and I need the book uh, that you get with the Pegasus boots to go to the desert to do the thing that's there. has sound effects unlike any other. Be that for better or for worse is your own choice, but I like them. They're, they're neat, if nothing else. God, it's just traversal is so fast. It's so fast. With this fucking thing. With these boots. Wow. The Book of Mudora. So what was the thing... What is there to do with the ice rod? Like, he told me to get it, but what do I do with it? I don't actually know what I would... That makes it useful. I do know that I can get to this now. Probably my next goal. available to me? No, because that's a block behind a, a thing, a rock. I can't lift. Up here is a mushroom. You fall in and then you can get the mushroom over here. Yeah, as I, as I recalled correctly. Let me 
you let me sprint? Go fast. <laughs> Going fast is killing me, but it is also fun. So fuck it. Temple or not? It's just the book. Do I need to actually use the book? Open the way to go forward, make your wish here, and it will be great. I wish for the door to open. You will grant your wish. Off. Hey, let me let me get in. Then I think I can start at the start of the dungeon if I die. Look, probably need the ice rod for shit here, but I have enough properly. Pots are the most lethal fucking weapon in this game. They're everywhere. It's weird to me that each one has its own pedestal. But yeah, they just shoot lasers at you. They're generally not stick around. Uh, okay. I didn't think that touching them did much, but apparently it does. Rather have not used my fairy on that. Well, fuck off! I'm trying to pick up the goddamn pot, bitch. back here. Alright. That is really awkward hallway placement. Like, this hallway is divided between, like, four different screens. But you know what I just noticed that's really interesting? Is that if you are spamming your sword, your your hitbox only goes out to like uh, the right and the front of you. But if you let it go all the way, then it goes to the side. It, I think. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't want to do this, do I? No, I don't. Nah, fuck it. We're doing it. Yeah, no, this is just a way to get out of the dungeon. I gotta get through the cutscene again. Well, they let you skip it, which is very considerate. One of these faces back, and then you can get onto that little area, that little plateau. I'll kill everything in here once, but I'm not doing it again. Let us complete our exploration of this area. 
this one, this uh, dungeon is obviously much more open, which is cool. It's like you've gotten your introduction, now just have the dungeons as they should be. Come here, come here, bitch. How many things get one-shotted by pots? It's like incredible. This has to be for a key. This is for nothing. Designing a dungeon in Zelda has to take an immense amount of thought to make sure that players can't get soft locked and so that. Uh, to, to make sure they can progress through the dungeon naturally. Without getting hung up on stupid shit or like vagueness. It's really an art that the, the designers have had to. Uh, like, master over the entries. Wow, map. It's actually pretty useful. Yeah, there's that whole way. Ooh, fuck. Oh, I can use Pegasus boots in here. That's nice. Oh, check this out. Wow. I bet he... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't even give you a hint as to how to get that. He's just like, you should probably find all the treasures in a dungeon. That would be good. Oh, he, so he can just hit me through those pots. All right. Is this all going to be rupees? Eh, some of it will probably be useful. I should go counterclockwise. Who's clockwise? Oh, I didn't even realize the doors were shut. I was just doing that for fun. I don't have the big key. Yeah, it's locked. You're gonna need the big key to get that. Oh shit, get the fuck, get the fuck, get the fuck. There we go. Classic escape scenario. I like that they spawn literally on top of you, that's fun. Do I have to light all the lamps that this puzzle is? Guess not. Resisting the urge to use the Pegasus boots here just in case a uh It would have, like, launched me off a ledge. Sick. Ah, so you... This is the dungeon where you get the strength bracelet. And that's how you get to the boss, I think. Oh, fuck off. I always think the beam is going to be stopped. But... The, I don't think the beam can be stopped. It's just, he can either see you and shoot at you, or he can't see you. Like, if he can see you, then the beam will not be stopped. 
All right, so, oh, I have the key now that I need to get to the place. I thought I was, thought that we were stuck, but we are not. Oh, fuck off. Need more hearts. Didn't need to get that. There we go. There's the hearts I needed. You can't, like, turn and use your sword quite fast enough to uh, make a maneuver like that work. See, like, he didn't see me there, so he didn't even try shooting. The lair of the dungeon's evil master! Shit. It's, uh, it's Isaac. You got the big key. It can open many locks that small keys cannot. He's nuts. I know there's a heart or two here. Here we go. Okay, now I got the strength bracelet. Or power glove. It depends on the game whether it's which one it is, but it's always one of those two. Because Link always needs to lift up rocks. Sometimes he doesn't even need a, a fucking item for it. He just happens to be a, a, quite the buff iteration of Link. Now I can do this. Think about how much that fucking opens. Like, huge swaths of map. So this is a push the correct thing puzzle. And I got really lucky, actually. That's a find the correct key puzzle. And I got lucky again, but then pushed my luck. I don't think you have to survive this. Yeah, you can just go through. It does eventually run out of, like, tiles. Wow, that song really takes a long time to ramp up, doesn't it? Which makes sense considering how much time you're gonna spend with it, like for it to take its time. Yeah, I had never even thought about it. It's just a, it's a long song and kind of meandering. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, dude, I'm caught in a fucking laser matrix. What the shit? Wow, they're bastards. Oh, fuck, this is death. Just gotta be very careful here. Alright, come here, dickhead. Aw, oh, bitch! Alright, come, come the fuck. Alright, so this this is some fucking lamp shenanigans. Oh yeah, this wall moves. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Then, uh, who knows? The fucking... Bow could never hurt.
All right, this might be a bow situation. If I can like get get their head on a on a bead, I don't think that's gonna be very possible though. Yeah, that spin attack is probably the right idea. I'm glad it, that it puts you back at this section of the dungeon. And not at, like, the start of the dungeon. How do I get into this, the... How do I get into the room that I haven't been to? Because that kind of fucks me up. Maybe it's like a shortcut back, but I kind of doubt it. Like, that feels like sh that feels shitty. Maybe I need to push one of those blocks, I don't know. But I really hate that. Now there's this gauntlet to get to the boss again. So you can't even touch the statues. That is not always true in Zelda games. Yeah, lose all my health before the fucking thing even starts. Oh, fuck. Usually that little doormat means you're about to go into the boss room, not the boss room is like two rooms away. Come here, you bastard. That's not a blunder I can be affording to make here. Oh, fuck me, dude. It's always an experience with the Zelda boss not knowing what its health is and just having to hit it until it dies, pretty much. What the fuck was that? Maybe I'm abusing charge attacks a little too much. Maybe I just suck at dodging those fucking rocks is what ha what's happening. Wow, holy shit. Just need to not get hit by the rocks. That's the my like number one source of damage because I never think about it. I think you're conditioned to being like diagonal is like the 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 way to dodge shit in this game but not so for this boss and it kind of fucks with you two deaths to this boss unbelievable up a guide to this dungeon because that one room is bothering me and I don't want to have to go back. Just, just I want to see what's in there. So, uh, oh wait, link 
to the past desert palace. go into the fucking room either. God damn it. What the fuck? Not once did they go to that room either. Right, so I guess it doesn't matter or something? Desert Palace map? I don't know, fucking... what the shit? Oh, it's just a fairy fountain. Oh, okay. The one of the blocks is pushable and it's a fairy fountain. Fucking awesome. That would be nice to know, but like I didn't need to stop the stream for that. Fuck. Now I got to unpause the game manually because that's a thing. Wow, I've been streaming for like 2 hours. Like I just lost in this game. I've just like god damn, this game is good. <laughs> Because I just lost myself in it. I was like, fucking forgot I was streaming, just enjoying, like, the video game. God damn. That, that's, that's how you know a game is good. When, like, I was just, like, completely and utterly immersed. Like, nothing else matters. Fuck. That's why Zelda games are good. That's what's good about Zelda games. Maybe I'm supposed to have a couple more hard containers for this, but whatever. Alright, please let me hit the boss once, or one singular time. That was good. Also, hello Isaac, uh, the fucking Isaac boss, Pin. Uh, Isaac, like, borrowed so, like, everything from Zelda. It, it adds, uh, Isaac added a lot of its own flair, but, like, so much of Isaac you can see in Zelda, or the other way around. Like, holy shit, having, having played more Isaac now, it's, like, very readily apparent. The, the similarities. Those rocks, man. It's those fucking rocks. They're completely predictable, but also... Just impossible for me to dodge for some reason. Like, like that. Like, why was I standing diagonal? I really am conditioned to just stand diagonal to enemies in this game. I, I had never even realized. There, there's definitely a better way to do this. It's probably the ice rod, actually. I almost walked into the fucking... That's the way to do it. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I was making it dumb. Yeah, that, that's just the, that's the way you're actually just supposed to do that.
Can't be can't be wasting this magic though. Fucking dude. Oh bitch. Oh motherfucker. That that feels a little bad. That feels I fucking figured it out and then I fucked it up. Whatever. We'll go to the fairy fountain. Just so I can complete the map. Can't believe I died. Can't believe I died. Just because I'm a bad shot with the ice rod. Now I need to find more magic. Oh, fuck you. You can- the way to deal with these is you stand in a corner and swing your sword. This corner specifically because your sword covers it better. Or no, the bottom left, rather. I shouldn't have got hit there. Slow down, please. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah, this is gonna go well. Oh, bitch! I thought I was good. Yeah, what a way to waste a fucking fairy, huh? I don't even have enough magic to make the ice rod thing work. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Just gotta not waste my shots. Gotta not not do that. Oh, that doesn't even just kill them. That that I thought it just instantly killed them. Guess I had them down to lower health than I thought. Oh come on, slow down. Why is this taking me so many tries? No Zelda bus should take this many tries. It's just me being stupid. Oh, two hits. Come on, dickhead. Come on, really? Come on! I need to be more conscious of the rocks. Oh man, that- that- hitting that one pushed me into the other one. I am- I'm prioritizing not taking damage over doing damage. Playing- playing maybe more cautiously than I need to, but... I think it's a warranted caution. Oh, come the fuck on. Come the fuck on, dude! Alright, 
last one. Fortunately, the patterns don't change. Oh, they do change because it shoots more things. Oh shit. Luckily, that one was at such low health. Sick. Now I can do so much. Like an absolute ridiculous amount of shit because I can now lift the, those things up. Sahasrala. Oh, sick. I guess your hint for using the ice rod on that boss is just, you're in a desert, so use the thing that's cold on the place that's hot. Whoa, baba booey. You can really move, you can really move across this thing. What was this? What was this place? Oh, fairy fountain. Yeah, I can use that. Oh, look at all this lifting up I can do. I can even do the big ones with a bit of effort. Fuck yeah. But not these, these are the super extra heavy rocks. I believe this is stairs. And I think you can lead the man down into the stairs? I'm gonna pick up his sign and find out. I don't even know if he's like... A secret. I don't remember. But now I have to get rid of him. The motherfucker can run though. Like like nothing else. Cool. I'm not gonna take any of that because I have enough rupees, but Thanks for the info, buddy. Don't need the rupees, I have quite enough. Oh, so what I'm where I'm going is all the way up on Death Mountain. What can I get to now that I can lift up the rocks, I wonder? Oh, I'll slow down. Why am I doing that? I'm just conditioned to pressing A due to the uh, Pegasus boots.
These I can't lift, I think. No, you need the better one. There might be shit I can do in Kakariko, but we'll look. Otherwise... There's nowhere that I can think of specifically. Oh wait, there is the gravestones up north. Which I need to go this way to get to anyway. We'll go there. Probably a fucking thing. I don't think there's a whole lot to do for me right now in Kakariko. I'll note those mushrooms because I don't know if I've seen them before. What's down here? rock. I think there's a secret of some variety in this area. Come on. Like, I remember getting something on this screen. Oh, this is the side of Hyrule Castle. And there's shit to pick up. How much as that means. Little as it means. Ah, oh, fuck off. Man, I, I, whoa, whoa, I haven't talked for a fucking long ass time. What the shit? I haven't talked for way too long. Oh, hey, I can maybe get up here and get, go and bomb that shit that I needed to bomb. Might be a hard piece, which is why I'm even considering it. Either way, it gets me back to the sanctuary, which I need to be at anyway, or in that area. mind. This was ill-conceived, I suppose. Come the fuck out and let me sprint. Let me get away. The red ones are scarier because they're red, which means that they're tough, fucked up, they'll kill your mama. He killed his own mama for a nickel. Come the fuck on, there we go. Gravestones we go... Wow! Oh! This took me exactly where I wanted to go! What do you know? Holy fuck! 
That's fucking mental. I was just, like, actually trying to go here, like, seconds ago. Fuck yeah. I bet all these have rupees, which I don't need. Oh, 300 of them? Oh, wasted. Oh, my fucking cock and balls, dude. I don't have any fucking use for him. Oh, that sucks a little bit. God. Out of the way, rats. Gambit successful. Fuck you. something never does but it's useful to check accidental kill brutal caught on camera oh I can go up and to the right now I can get past that rock? That'll be... I don't know how much of that I'll be able to do, but I'm gonna go do it. Death Mountain is the other direction. That's the next palace. Hey, your fucking potion fucked me up because I didn't have a fairy, bitch. The Waterfall of Wishing, oh, that's where the big fairy fountain is, and I sure do have the money for that. Just around the corner. Oh, I don't have the way to do this, though. Oh, I can't get down. How do I get back? You assume I can just drop? Knows, yeah, I can just drop down. How many people saw that and were turned away because they didn't realize they could jump? When in reality, with just a little looking, they could have got so much farther. Whoa, ambience. I wouldn't say this is good, but it's something. Look at that one single pile of, of land. Oh, heart piece. I don't know how to get that. Don't jump into that, Link, you fucking fool. Link, you fucking dipshit. Man, those leaves are cool. That's a cool sprite. God damn it. Stop falling off so easily. Please. Did I go the correct way? Oh shit. Hello, it is me, King Zora. I want the flippers. 500 rupees a pair? I got that in spades, bitch. Sick. That That's very important for a lot of the secrets and shit. I can get the next bottle now, actually. That's, uh, it's under a bridge. Fuck yeah, dude. That probably means I can go to the waterfall now, too, because I can swim through it.
forget where it is that you go for the waterfall. Oh shit! This is secrets. Nice! This might be it. This might be the way. No, it's not. Where the fuck is it? A waterfall of wishing. It might be down here, even. Yeah, I think this is it. Fuck yeah, dude. Did I get a better bow, or I got the same bow? I think you can get a better boomerang with this. I don't know, though. This isn't the one where you can give them the money. That's, I think, in Lake Hylia. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I was mashing. Wow, well, you got the bow again. Okay, now I do the thing. Yes. Throw an item. I believe this gives you the better boomerang. We'll give you something better in return. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. What about? Uh, uh, we're just gonna look. We're just gonna look. Um. Link to the pit. To the pit. Water fall of wishing. Okay. Um, boomerang will be replaced with a magical boomerang. Shield will be replaced with a better shield. The bottle will be filled with the medicine of magic. Oh shit, free, free green potion. That's pretty sick. So I have to come back when I have a shield. Unless I can just do that right now. Yeah, I can maybe do that right now. Sick. Uh, this. Okay, there we go. I do have an empty bottle. The other being occupied by the good bee. You know what? I won't do it. Shield. Sick. Free shield upgrade. Defend yourself against fireballs. Awesome. Oh, this might take me to Lake Hylia, where I need to go. Yeah, it does. Fuck yeah. Oh, and now I can go and spend all my fucking rupees, too. God knows I have well enough. Twenty Ruperts. Great luck. Awesome. of you I 
I intend to spend all my rupees here. Wait, wait. I need to make sure that that is a wise idea. Link to the past great fairy. This is how you get upgrades to like your bomb capacity and shit. Past money fairy. Pond of happiness. Okay. Oh, a wall on the right side of the room. Standing four fairies. Huh. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. Oh shit, the luck thing actually, like, has effects. Alright, so... Basically... The thing to do... Is to just keep going until she throws my rupees back at me. Fairy's running a fucking scheme and a half. I want to carry more bomb. The cap is like 50 bombs and 70 arrows, so I don't know how many upgrades this is gonna be. I've already spent a lot of rupees. I don't know how many total you need, but like, holy shit. Great luck. Great luck is a good thing. Because the next enemies you kill are guaranteed to drop certain things. So I should actually use this opportunity. It's probably the next ten enemies and it's probably a series of things which I don't have. I don't have the liberty of being able to do. Row of you, huh? I still want to carry more bombs. So it really just goes up in increments of five, huh? every hundred rupees wow you got to give her a lot of money wow that's a lot of money like an actually kind of ridiculous amount of money so this is what you spend all your rupees on Oops, not 25. Oh, so I guess with your happiness, like, number that it gives you is the amount to the next, like, upgrade. These are, these are huge upgrades. By the way, just like really significant amounts of bombs and arrows.
Sick. So I'm like halfway there for both of them, for both of the total upgrades. Uh, yeah, these. Not the book, the net. Keep it in a butthole. There we go. The new boomerang is cool. I think it just goes to the edge of the screen now. I think that's its thing. And maybe damage some more enemies. I think it can damage enemies and outright kill some now. to get here. I remember you needed like Robbie's little flying fucking thing in uh, Link Between Worlds to get that. Tower of Hera time. Actually, we probably won't even be able to finish that. That's a long, that's a long dungeon, but we'll, uh, we can get to it. The climb up Death Mountain will probably be the time for today. Oh, I should actually get, oh, I think it's all the way over here. I need to get the, uh, the other bottle. That would be useful. Super fucking useful. I think I know where it is. Oh, jeez. I, I, I think I can grab it real quick. Yeah, it's this side of the... Uh, I have to swim up a stream here. I know where it is, though. The, the swimming momentum is not the greatest. I will say that. Yeah. I like the change of, like, scale here. Because you get a lot more intimate view of what's under the bridge, where it looks... It looks small when you're on the out, like, overworld, but it looks big here. That always struck me for some reason. Yo, Nirk, you seem to be in a heap of trouble, but this is all I can give you. Sick. Now I can have two fairies. I'm zooming. I... my commentary is lacking, if not completely absent. I'm like, gone. I'm just- I'm just playing the game at this point, fucking... To hell with it, all else, I guess. Oh shit. The Lost Woods, holy fuck. That's a good song, but I need all three pendants to make it worthwhile. 
Where does that go? Oh, it's just a little pond. Must be something good. Oh, it's a shortcut. It's something. Oh, it goes all the way down here. I understand. Yeah, I like that the music has to restart each time. So that's the way to Death Mountain. And then over here is the the Lumbersmith Shack. Lumbersmith? What the fuck? He's not smithing a whole lot. I don't know why I would need to read that sign that just says to go to Death Mountain, bitch. There we are, the lumbersmiths. They eventually cut it later on, and then you go in it, and it's a place you get like a piece of heart or something. Okay. Is that like a bombable wall or is that something else? That must be in the forest. That's my guess. Why do they just randomly leave fucking bombs? Bombs? Here we go. Death Mountain. Was the Golden Power just like a name that people vaguely knew that refers to the Triforce, but they don't know the Triforce exists, so they just call it the Golden Power? He, he tells you to turn right, but that's not correct. You actually have to go down, and he's like, oh, I fucked up. I remember that. Never, never trust a fucking dude. That's like an important legendary fucking item and he just has it in his pocket. He, he heals you if you go in here. Which is really good because those fallen rocks are nothing to fuck with. The moon pearl. I can heal your weariness. Go back here anytime. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, SNES trumpets. You're so beautiful. You're as beautiful as the day I lost you. So that just circles around, okay. Actually, I think I need to go to the bottom. That's where the door is. There are a lot of secrets on Death Mountain, as I remember. It felt like a lot. 
That's so fucking cool looking. You never do get to see that side of Death Mountain. That's just it's just the top of the map. Uh oh. Wait a minute, I'm in a different place. I didn't get reset to where I was. This is not like a regular fall. What is this gonna be a central mechanic to the next dungeon or something? What the flip? Keep it in a bottle. These are called Moldorms? These are mini Moldorms, I think. Or Morodorms. Fucking suck. Ah, okay, I think you just spin attack him. Yeah, that's the better way to do it. I shouldn't have been losing that much health. This is that place where I was before. I'm gonna be very thankful for the fairies, like I was just saying. Very thankful for those fairies. Get the fuck out of the way. And they, they harden into metal and are just generally not worth killing. Which is why I haven't been. I think you can kill him with arrows, maybe? That's the way to do it? I don't know. That was silly. That was a bit of silliness on my part. Thank you, other fairy. I'm gonna have to go and replenish them. Shit, other secret. That's fucking crazy, dude. And it connects to the first one. Holy shit. That's like flipping nuts, dude. It's like all connected. Oh, sick. Particular rock from there. You can reach the Tower of Herod on top of Death Mountain. Take me back to the fairies, I need a couple of them. Alright, we are replenished on fairies. Now to not lose all of my health to the fucking mini moldorms. Don't you love running up ladders? My favorite pastime. Have I been here? Is this that? Okay, kind of thought so. Is that anything? I don't want to like jump all the way down and have to do it again. Like, can I just no? No, it's not anything, and I 
didn't mean to jump down there, but I was just trying to look. Well, shit. Dangerous game I'm playing right now. Wasn't there a, a ledge here? Well, that doesn't lead to anything, so there was no reason to go to it. Why is there a ledge there? What the fuck? Back up again. After making sure there's no secrets. Can't be any of them. None left. Oh yeah, this is the first thing where you gotta use the mirror. Why am I... what? There we go. For some reason I wasn't picking that up. Holy fuck, it's the dark world! And I can't do anything in it because I'm a bunny. Good fucking music. Who are you, Mr. Bunny? The world is like... This world is like the real world, but evil has twisted it. The golden powers have changed shape to reflect what is in your heart and mind. I am always changing my mind, so I turn it into a ball. But if you have a ball called the Moon Pearl, you can keep your original shape here. What do you want? Something to say to me, silly rabbit, power of gold, now I'm a freak and I can't go back to the real world. If only I had the Moon Pearl from the Tower of Hera, I could go back to my original shape. But I could reasonably be stressed out, so back off, shoo shoo. I believe what I need to do is to stand on one of these and use the mirror, but I also want to look around, so we're gonna fucking do that. Which is not to say that this won't be way, way, way super easier. I have the moon pearl and that I should be doing it then, but fuck it. I don't even think I can do anything, and that's by design. And I probably shouldn't try. Because I will be back here. I don't remember which one it is you have to stand on, which kind of sucks. Oh, that was to get a heart piece. You could have done it in a lot of places, probably, but that's the one that you need to do to get the heart piece. Thank you for remembering that specific information, Brain, and not having a specific reason why. Huh. I have to use the Book of Mudora. It's the only other place where you fucking use it. Oh, this is where you get a spell. I need that. <laughs> Gotta not jump off the edge. That'll be essential. I actually damaged that Tektite, I think. Alright, Tower of Hera. We are here. And... Oh wait, you know what? Actually, I will save state here. With... Save. Okay, good. And now I will... Just in case. So that'll be the stream. Oh, fuck, I'm still, like, yawning. Anyway, uh, thank you for coming and chatting, Conda Model. If you watched but didn't chat, thank you very much. Um, if you are a VOD watcher, thank you very much. It's very appreciated. Uh, so, yeah, I will stream, uh, which, which day? The 6th or the 7th? That's the plan. I'm leaving again on the 17th for a week. But yeah, so that'll be, that'll be streaming. 
Thanks for watching. Have a nice night, day, evening, morning, podcast.